Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is the beautiful Unacademy Need PG platform. Is my voice audible to everyone? If my voice is coming to everyone, please put a message in the comment section. Thank you. Is my voice coming? Yes or yes, yes. I hope it's coming. Oh, it's coming to me. That's nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah so yeah we still uh, what do you call it? yes we have beautiful people who are coming on this show hello 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 so we have or file oro file word a new id yes uh, i am planning uh, for uh, let's see maybe uh, somewhere special you will get to you get the notifications okay why don't you recommend me something nice what do you think okay great this is the unacademy need pg platform first of all i recommend everyone to give as many amazing tests as possible unacademy is one of the most beautiful platform where we get witness some beautiful knowledge the educators are really good quality and i'm really happy to be here also at the same time we have this beautiful test series happening for every one of us and i want you guys to give as many tests as possible also at the same time just may 1st or so he we have this beautiful all india need pg mock test happening on 9 am okay 9 am I recommend every one of you to give as many tests as possible, dear. It will be nice. Also, at the same time, this N Academy goal basically, which is basically for which was we had for from April 20 to 28th. So I hope this uh, uh, this one this subscription comes again, and we all can avail some amazing, beautiful offers on this. Also, at the same time, we have this beautiful, mind blowing MBBS Prof One batches we have started pertaining to the next exam naturally we already started a batch which is going houseful from april 20th for the mbbs students this is the duration of the pack the price the pre-launch price including all the off and everything all you have to use is use any educators code and here the code is dr anand being an mbbs student sometimes it's difficult to buy a big pack so it will be little financially comfortable for you hello osama sheikh 31st ko hai Osama and hello PK, hello Vaidehi, hello, hello Orophile word. <laughs> On the Unacademy, we have something known as plus subscription, where amazing access to live and recorded classes, educators are nice, content is good, and also at the same time, you can watch me on your iOS, laptop, any device. And then we have the iconic subscription. In the iconic subscription, you get the Unacademy platform and the prep ladder subscription, all the amazing clinical notes, full syllabus, and the live test and quizzes. Also, for the light-hearted students like me who are beautifully soul, amazing, beautiful people, for them we have this light pack basically. As exam is around the corner, we have this previous year question batch with all the grand test and amazing practice set test sessions for the need people students and for the INI CD and FMG purpose also all you have to use is the code Dr. Anand to avail some discount also at the same time for the previous year question ban is totally free you know you just have to go to the Unacademy app touch on self-study then on the practice and then on the subject and you can avail all the amazing previous year questions Hanji Osama yes yes and also uh, whenever you get a notification for the daily practice papers you'll get a notification from me okay every day so give the test five mcqs are there just give them it'll be nice if you're new to an academy please download an academy where we have amazing special class features because there you never miss the classes all the lectures are recorded proper in a synchronized manner and the notes are something which everyone is crazy for you'll get the notes for the fmg students the batch is already starting from april 27 with amazing faculties also at the same time yes let's start this beautiful class today's topic of choice is nothing but hydrocephalus beautifully spoken in a very beautiful way before starting any amazing segment we always have a motivating quote and today's motivating quote is let go of the thoughts let go of the thoughts that don't make you strong there are times when we think negative there are times when we doubt on ourselves that i don't think so i can do it it's very tough i think i'll try after six months my friend she took three attempts sir then she cleared i i was such an average student i don't think so i can clear so there will be times people will make you doubt people will shake you break you and they will make you mad but again 
only good vibes tell them very properly good vibes allowed that's it nothing else okay someone telling telling you you know she was telling bad about you or he was telling bad about you tell them you listen you do your job my journey is totally different don't tell me this negative stuff my journey is all together different i am on a different journey all together so in cheezo ka mere paas to time nahi hai right so let go of the thoughts that don't make you strong remember that okay perfect yes hello dr benedict hi pragya hello darshan osama man singh and million other people more and today's topic of choice we're going to talk about a very important one is hydrocephalus before going to hydrocephalus if this question becomes the today's neat pg question imagine tonight 11:35 there's a neat pg paper okay this question came porencephaly you are a newcomer you have no idea about the cns this question came porencephaly is due to what i'll give you 10 seconds to answer this question what do you think what is the best answer porencephaly is due to dandy walker syndrome cerebral infarction fetal alcohol syndrome or trisomy 13 what do you think i also don't know what well, any random guesses hanji benedict darshan osama a pk why the he what do you think dear abcd tukai marlo inki minki wonki abcd b okay anyone hmm. very good hey hi akanksha how are you samir why the he akanksha again akanksha you are the new person right in our classes are you liking the session did you understand something in the beautiful an academy special class yes that's good machar are actually machar bahut hai yahan pe hmm perfect so pragya says fetal alcohol syndrome okay let's let's talk about it for two minutes porencephaly sir i don't know what is porencephaly sir very difficult cns could you please tell me what is the meaning of porencephaly okay i'll tell you one second number 1 porencephaly images number a b and c are the cases of porencephaly first at least allow your brains to click this information this image is in your in your sulka and beautiful gyra hai ye jo ye wala hota hai these one these things they are nothing but kind of these clefts this infarcted areas are nothing but a cases of porencephaly porencephaly sir sir why this doesn't look like, look like a hydranencephaly hydranen matlab water right water only csf 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 everywhere of image number e this one this is a case of hydranencephaly if examiner yes if, if examiner wants to ask you uh, if if he wants to ask you a mri picture of hydranencephaly he will show you a blank picture can you see that there is no at all there is like full blank there is no cerebral hemisphere and this and that is totally water 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 nothing but csf 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 so this uh, option this picture is hydranencephaly whereas uh, option number a b and c all three pictures are of porencephaly sir sir what is the meaning of porence no idea about it dear porencephaly is a extremely rare cephalic disorder cephalic matlab sir ka brain ka you know right cephal to caudal caudal means lower limb cephal means my head my this part cephal part porencephaly is a extremely rare cephalic disorder involving encephalomalacia encephalomalacia again sir what is the meaning of encephalomalacia malacia means kind of a infarction encephalomalacia is the softening or the loss of the brain tissue after cerebral infarction can i say that the patients of hie can lead to uh, encephalomalacia what do you think you remember what is hie hi is nothing but hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy have you heard about it still if you have not heard about it have you heard that do you know this point that a baby must cry immediately after birth every baby should cry immediately after birth if the baby not crying immediately after birth once the baby cries the oxygen reaches the brain so if the baby do not cry immediately after birth it can lead to a brain damage known as hie hypoxic ischemic 
encephalopathy so jabhi bhi hypoxia like why i'm stressing on this point because i want your beautiful brains to connect that whenever there is a hypoxic insult hypoxic insult or a ischemic insult in the baby's brain that baby of course that cerebral infarction basically can lead to encephalomalacia okay in five days back only we had our patient in our opd basis he was a follow-up case of hie and that baby had developed encephalomalacia and my gr was asking encephalomalacia kya hota anand sir what is encephalomalacia hie mein encephalomalacia and i was like yeah bro because uh, hypoxic insult is there that brain part become ischemic or infarcted and that can lead to encephalomalacia which means softening of the brain tissue or loss of the brain tissue and that's what i can appreciate in picture number a picture number c that there is a softening or kind of a absent or you know shrunkening of the brain tissue has everyone understood this much yes or yes and after knowing this can anyone please answer Achha, ek or, haan, chalo, pehle isko answer kari do. Yes, that is why in the Madhya Pradesh question it had come. That is why can I say now, can I say now that poor encephaly is due to cerebral infarction? Can I say this point? Does this point make some sense right now? Can I allow my brains? Okay, so poor encephaly may infarction hota hai, ischemia hota hai, encephalomalacia hota hai. So poor encephaly can lead to cerebral inf uh, infarction. It is due to cerebral infarction which can lead to encephalo मलेशिया ठीक है परफेक्ट चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं also at the same time i request you to remember little more you know the most common it could be a very important pg question which is the most common location of the porencephaly jo ye porencephaly hai ye wala this porencephaly which is the most commonest location the most commonest location is sylvian fissure again a question that what is sylvian fissure see knowledge is the most beautiful process a mankind can ever do so allow your brains for for this clarifying this beautiful small innocent doubts so sylvian fissure what is sylvian fissure this one can we appreciate this picture that we have something known as supratentorial and infratentorial cerebellum wala infra so we have supratentorial lesions and infratentorial even the tumors also we have supra so sylvian fissure is the cut off bro can we see that yes or no this one can we see that ye wala yes or no please put a like button to the video if you're understanding ye ye iske upar ka is uh, supratentorial and below the uh, uh, sylvian fissure is the infratentorial why i am stressing so much because the most commonest location dear of apna ye pore encephaly is nothing but sylvian fissure sylvian fissure can i move further please put a like button can i move further are you understanding bro okay perfect that finishes one half of the chapter continuing with this one yeah this is a good one very easy very easy question can you please tell me the answer of this one yeah tuft of hair over the lumbosacral region such a simple sweetheart question can you please answer orophile orophile what is your real name orophile word the id what is your name and where are you from could you please tell me Ek minute. any of the above Ek Hmm. Usually the best answer is A only. Na? The tuft of the hair at the lumbosacral region is nothing but suggestive of spina bifida occulta. And what was the other name which was uh, which, which with the swelling coming out? Do we have any associated name? See one was spina bifida occulta. Occulta means hidden. So no defect outside looking. It is just a bunch of hair. What was the other name Osama? Just may the there is a swelling in the lumbosacral. Do we have some name for that which is connecting with spina bifida occulta? That was spina bifida cystica. Osama yada ne yada? Exactly. So happiness zone is telling the right answer. You remember that? We evening only we studied. No, we have spina bifida occulta and spina bifida cystica. In spina bifida cystica, you say you can say myelomeningocele, meningocele, and spina bifida occulta, you will say only a bunch of the hair. Perfect. This part is over. Next question. 
what now coming to the topic of the choice hydrocephalus now before touching hydrocephalus can you please tell me some causes of macrocephaly pehle to bhai mujhe definition bata do chup chap haan ji dr osama how do you define macrocephaly anyone how do you define macrocephaly do we have some proper definition which has come in the recent papers anyone yes very good very good perfect macrocephaly is defined as anyone yeah so head circumference head circumference more than two standard deviation for the respective age and sex is known as macrocephaly and head circumference less than minus three standard deviation for the respective age and sex is known as microcephaly this question has come 10 times that's why see everything i am asking you is a question okay don't dream ye to waise hi puch liya ye to aata hi nahi hai oh aise aise drama karne ki zarurat nahi hai jo bata रहा हूं वो आता है अगर नहीं आता तो अब आएगा बात खत्म ठीक है ऑलवेज यू आर सी वो कहते हैं ना कि हम हमें तो यही सिखाया था वी वर ओनली टॉट वन थिंग सीनियर इज ऑलवेज राइट सीनियर इज ऑलवेज राइट यू मस्ट ट्रस्ट योर टीचर यू मस्ट ट्रस्ट द वे आई ट्रस्ट माय जिम इंस्ट्रक्टर द वे आई यू नो आई रिस्पेक्ट माय गिटार टीचर आई यू मस्ट रिस्पेक्ट एंड मस्ट लिसन एंड ब्लाइंडली फॉलो योर टीचर ओके next what are the important causes of macrocephaly so the mnemonic is ro water ro water saves my health okay so a for anemia do you know right anemia of chronic disease because of any in a case of anemia of chronic illnesses there is extra medullary hematopoiesis and when there is extra medullary hematopoiesis the site of the hematopoiesis is there in my sternum also in my forehead also these are the extra medullary medulla is main brain stem extra medullary hematopoiesis is one this part that's why you get little macrocephaly okay exactly perfect aro saves my health anemia rickets osteogenesis imperfecta ab aage aa jao ab aage aa jab daddy pakka puchhenge bhai kya hai ye haan ji dr usama what yes what gunjan what is the name of the classification of osteogenesis imperfecta could you please tell me do we have the name of classification haan ji epines zone you are very very right very very right what is the name of the classification of osteogenesis imperfecta silent <laughs> silent ni silence silence classification that's true you have silence classification silent classification remember kaise yaad rahega osteogenesis imperfecta no the baby has a history of recurrent fracture so fracture is there okay keep it quiet the baby has got a fracture silence baby has got a fracture okay silence silence classification silence classification the name of the classification for oi is silence classification ro saves my health subdural hematoma can cause macrocephaly megalencephaly can cause macrocephaly hydranencephaly can cause macrocephaly and hydrocephalus can cause macrocephaly so we have so many beautiful causes of macrocephaly will you remember this for me exactly ha wahi ha wahi 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 happiness zone is answering very extra uh, yes exactly bro in a case of osteogenesis imperfecta the gene is collagen 1 collagen 1 a1 gene mutation that is very true history of recurrent fracture and history of blue sclera and fragile bones and even uh, what you call deafness also early deafness early not late early deafness is the triad for the osteogenesis imperfecta perfect coming to the hydrocephalus now this is a very 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 beautiful picture of hydrocephalus can you please tell me i am a pg student could you please tell me what are the by looking at this picture okay only by the looking at this picture kaise pata ye hydrocephalus hai how can i appreciate that this picture is only hydrocephalus maybe i'll say this is not hydrocephalus is macrocephaly macrocephaly hai na sir bada hai the height is large no why are you saying hydrocephalus anything like that yeah exactly very good very good happiness zone very good anil yes uh, good evening anil sir kaise hain aap kaise ho theek ho vp shunt lag raha laga hua hai okay okay kaun sa wala dear which one do you think dear are you saying this is vp shunt i want to correct you this is the orogastric tube okay this is the orogastric tube 
ओरो ओजी ट्यूब है ये ये लग रहा होगा पर ये मुंह के अंदर है दिस ट्यूब इज इन द माउथ ओरो गैस्ट्रिक वो बस साइड रखी हुई है करके ठीक है या द बेस्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन हु समवन इज टेलिंग वेरी ब्यूटीफुली वी हैव ताविशी हु इज आंसरिंग कैन आई से कैन आई से दिस डायलेटेड स्कैल्प वेंस नंबर 1 डायलेटेड स्कैल्प वेंस which is the one sign which i can see on percussion in a case of hydrocephalus kon batayega in a case of hydrocephalus there is one sign okay by looking at the scale by percussion i can i can uh, um, uh, elicit one sign anyone han ji ayush you are right dear there is a cleft lip also when do you operate for cleft lip and cleft palate ayush what do you think what's the best answer yeah exactly very good so for that that sign which i am asking you in the scalp is nothing but have you heard of mac evan sign mac evan sign yes or no mac evan sign or also known as क्रैक पॉट साइन सर वो क्या होता है सर सर वट इज दिस सर या इफ यू पर्कस द वन पार्ट ऑफ द स्कल इफ यू पर्कस द वन पार्ट ऑफ द स्कल ऑन द अदर पार्ट यू विल हैव अ क्रैक पॉट साउंड लाइक घड़े टूटने की आवाज लाइक अ क्रैक पॉट ओके इफ यू पर्कस द वन पार्ट ऑफ द स्कल यू नो पर्कशन राइट वन इज प्लेक्सर एंड वन इज प्लेक्सी मीटर दिस पार्ट लाइक दिस like that you perkus right you know that that's how i teach my students in my hospital so like in the intercostal spaces like 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 that and 1 2 3 like that 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 what are the various areas of percussion clavicle then we have you know infra clavicle then we have the mammary then we have the axillary we have supra scapular interscapular and infrascapular all these are areas of percussion anil says sir you are amazing q why i am amazing why why i am amazing why give me one reason pani pilo ek second okay let's start so in number 1 yes so why why there is hydrocephalus problem ka hai where is the problem why the baby's head is so large so can we therefore think one beautiful point either there is problem in the absorption of csf और देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन दी सर्कुलेशन ऑफ सी एस एफ सोचने वाली बात है देखो वन इज द सी एस एफ पाथवे इधर द प्रॉब्लम इज देर आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग लिसन वेरी केयरफुल ओके कान की मैल को हटाइए प्लीज पुट अ डू लाइक दिस एंड यू हेयर इट मोर इधर देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन द सर्कुलेशन द पाथवे सी एस एफ फ्लो इधर द प्रॉब्लम इज इन द सर्कुलेशन or the problem is in the absorption do you know right the csf absorb goes to the base of the brain and goes to the arachnoid granulations and drain into the superior sagittal sinus so either there is a problem in the absorption or there is a problem in the csf pathway very good so point number 1 this is a very beautiful picture can we appreciate this is photographic memory a beautiful case of hydrocephalus also point number yeah now for 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 basics are like everything okay basics are like everything how does csf form in the previous class as i have already told you that basically this is a very beautiful picture what is this ye khilona hai ये क्या क्या ये उधर मिलता है कौन से उसमें मिलता है कोई प्रगति मैदान का खिलौना है ये क्या है ये कैन इवन प्लीज मेंशन व्हाट इज दिस थ्री डायमेंशनल पिक्चर आई एम शोइंग यस सर यू आर शोइंग अस द वेंट्रिकल्स ऑफ द ब्रेन कैन आई से दैट जो ये ऊपर वाला है द अब द पैर दिस वन सो दीज आर द लैटरल वेंट्रिकल्स नंबर वन एंड देन बीच वाला कौन सा है वी हैव डन दैट ये ये क्यूटू सा दिस क्यूट वाला दिस इज द थर्ड वेंट्रिकल एंड दिस एग्जैक्टली दिस इज द फोर्थ वेंट्रिकल इज अ ब्यूटिफुल थ्री डायमेंशनल पिक्चर can we appreciate lateral ventricle third uh, lateral ventricle third ventricle fourth ventricle number 1 theek hai yaad rahega will you remember this picture for me great now uh, uh, what is hota kya hai sir what is csf cerebro spinal fluid csf it is a clear colorless it is clear okay it is color transparent it is transparent okay if it is a clear colorless bodily fluid here only the first pg pg entrance question number 1 if you get a turbid csf 
if you get a cloudy csf what is your best possible diagnosis this has already been an exam question haan ji kaun batayega exactly kaun batayega yes very good ayushi haan ji ayushi ye red wala this is equidactyl sylvius only that's right bro very good i am saying csf is colorless if i am if i am getting a very cloudy or turbid or a cloudy is a very beautiful word exactly tubercular meningitis or some not just meningitis we have various type of meningitis pyogenic meningitis viral meningitis tubercular meningitis so this one is nothing but a tbm tubercular meningitis you get a cloudy and a turbid uh, csf so csf is a clear colorless bodily fluid form in the ventricular system by the choroid plexus this is the exam question number 3 csf is formed by what it is formed by the choroid plexus in the ventricles banta by the choroid plexus perfect sir sir what is choroid plexus sir i have never seen a choroid plexus in my life this one bro this one this part of the brain is known as choroid plexus i have really tried my best of the best of the best intention to show you the as the micro microest detail possible through a photographic and visual image so that you can be a very beautiful doctor in future that is my only target okay that's it next pg entrance question number 4 csf is recycled dash times per day in order to clean out metabolites and toxins the option are one time per day two times per day three times per day and four times per day what do you think anyone सी एस एफ एक दिन में कितनी बार ऑटोमेटिकली रिसाइकल होता है कैन यू प्लीज पुट अ एनी रैंडम आंसर ओसामा वॉट यू थिंक येस एग्जैक्टली द बेस्ट आंसर इज फोर टाइम्स अ डे सी एस एफ इज रिसाइकल फोर टाइम्स पर डे इन ऑर्डर टू क्लीन आउट मेटाबोलाइट्स एंड टॉक्सिन वेरी गुड ओसामा वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट ओनली दिस ऑल्सो वन सेकेंड वेट आई शो दिस कैन यू सी हाँ कैन यू सी दिस थ्री डी पिक्चर very what is this this is the lateral ventricle this one third ventricle this one fourth ventricle can you see how the csf flowing everywhere very nice picture okay lateral ventricle the csf kahan jata hai it goes to the third ventricle then from third ventricle it goes to the fourth ventricle then fourth ventricle it goes to the base of the brain and from the base of the brain it is going to the arachnoid granulations and how does the csf drains 1 2 and 3 and 4 it drains into the superior sagittal sinus it drains into the superior sagittal sinus okay perfect that's it another way of looking at it this is my again very beautiful picture this is the lateral ventricle this is the third ventricle then yahan niche aate aate this is very nice this is the equiductal canal of sylvius okay ye wala then this one is the fourth ventricle so that's what that's what we need to appreciate over here okay perfect see there is something known as hydrocephalus and something known as hydranencephaly so when naturally as everyone knows that we have i told you we have the lateral ventricle and we have the third ventricle and then we have the fourth ventricle hai na very true so the lateral ventricle and third ventricle are connected by what that also pk has told already they are connected by the foramen of monro they are connected by the foramen of monro and third ventricle or fourth ventricle are connected by the aqueductal canal of sylvius aqueductal canal of sylvius that everyone knows right i assume everyone knows about it so whenever there is a, a obstruction which is the most commonest location for obstruction of uh, uh, non for non communicating hydrocephalus like the most commonest canal to get blocked in a case of hydrocephalus is the aqueductal canal of sylvius because it's a narrowest in diameter that's why so leading to csf accumulation leading to hydrocephalus right so this is a very beautiful picture appreciating the csf accumulation can you see that csf accumulation leading to hydrocephalus so this is one thought we need to understand 
नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन अ नॉर्मल चाइल्ड इन अ नॉर्मल चाइल्ड अराउंड डैश एम एल पर आर ऑफ सी एस एफ इज प्रोड्यूस सो वट डू यू थिंक वॉट्स द बेस्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन एक छोटे बच्चे में कितने एम एल पर आर सी एस एफ बनता है फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव वट यू थिंक द बेस्ट आंसर इज ट्वेंटी ओके ट्वेंटी दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम क्वेश्चन ओसामा इज वेरी राइट ओसामा श्वेता ओसामा पी के इफ यू आर वर्किंग सो हार्ड दैट इज वेरी गुड यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट अ रैंक सो इन अ नॉर्मल चाइल्ड अराउंड ट्वेंटी एम एल पर आर ऑफ सी एस एफ इज फॉर्म रिमेंबर ट्वेंटी देन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ सी एस एफ कितना होता है इन्फेंट में और एडल्ट में रिमेंबर टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ सी एस एफ फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी 50 ml in an infant, 150 ml in an adult. Will you remember this for me? Very important. Can you remember 20, 50 and 150? Only three values I want. 20, 50, 150. Right? Exactly. So basically, in a normal child, 20 ml per hour CSF is formed. And what about 50 and 150? Total volume of CSF approximate 50 ml in an infant and 150 ml in an adult. Remember that. So now problem is where? Now very beautifully we must appreciate. ये हो क्यों रहा है? Why there is CSF accumulation? Think okay, think. Number one, either there is impaired absorption of the CSF. See I told you one was the absorption and one was the flow. Either there is impaired absorption either there is obstruction of the flow of csf very perfect perfect lines they are so when i say the lateral ventricle and the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle if i say that there is obstruction in the flow of the csf by the ventricles this is known as anyone non communicating hydrocephalus and what is the other name of non communicating hydrocephalus obstructive hydro ke phalus are you understanding this moti ki tarah this should be so clear so clear without fail should be cleared lateral ventricle third ventricle fourth ventricle any problem there any problem the csf pathway or csf block leading to hydrocephalus the baby will have a non communicating hydrocephalus and non communicating hydrocephalus is also known as obstructive hydrocephalus right number 1 number 2 there could be a problem in the absorption of the csf so from the lateral ventricle third ventricle fourth ventricle then the lashka and magendi then the csf goes to the base of the brain base of the brain and from the base of the brain it goes to the subarachnoid i told you subarachnoid granulations and then it drains into the superior sagittal sinus so there waha pe if there is impaired absorption within the subarachnoid space then that is known as communicating hydrocephalus and communicating hydrocephalus is also known as non obstructive hydrocephalus has everyone understood this much i'm trying really my best to teach you in a very beautiful way uh, happiness osama uh, we have wogli we have mansi mahira srujana and beautiful 100 more people are you able to get what i'm trying to tell you great okay yes so can i therefore say see one problem is was in the pathway and one problem was in the absorption hai na can i say this point that both leads to increase accumulation of csf in ventricles dono mein hi ventricles mein space bharega ek mein to raste mein hi ho jayega aur ek mein end mein hoga right can i also say that ventricle becomes dilated and compress the brain can i say that definitely sir you can say that can i also say that when this happens before the cranial sutures are closed the skull enlarges are you understanding this is a very important line imagine 25 year old 25 year old patient gets hydrocephalus will you get uh, macrocephaly in that if our parent or any uncle auntie gets a hydrocephalus because of brain trauma will they get hydrocephalus no they won't get like no not hydrocephalus will they get macrocephaly that's what i'm trying to are you understanding that's what i'm trying to ask you will they get microcephaly the answer is no 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 macrocephaly is seen in those babies where the anterior and posterior fontanelles are open are you understanding osama happiness dear do you, are you getting it or not exactly when the fontanelles are open 
and someone gets a hydrocephalus then you see a macrocephaly otherwise 25 year old 35 year old 65 68 year old having a macrocephaly because of hydrocephalus no that's that's not possible samajh mein aa raha are you getting it what i'm trying to tell you okay that's this part is over yeah what are the causes of hydrocephalus yes what are the various causes of hydrocephalus so yes now you know that right we have like non communicating hydrocephalus and communicating hydrocephalus if the problem is there in the lateral ventricle third ventricle fourth ventricle that pathway so that pathway any problem is there leading to hydrocephalus that is non communicating and any problem in the base of the brain or subarachnoid space that is communicating hydrocephalus right but still we want more if it is a five marks mbbs question we want more causes because there were mcqs for pg also so the mnemonic was there was some quiz there was some quiz at a camp in mumbai okay on hydrocephalus and two groups were invited there was a quiz at a camp in mumbai on hydrocephalus and two groups were invited one group communicated with the organizers properly and reached the camp perfectly listen very carefully okay one group communicated with the organizers okay, where is the camp and they reach the camp safely but the other group did not communicate so they messed up the route and they had to travel via mahad what is mahad if someone from mumbai mahad is a place in maharashtra okay so that finishes the causes of very important communicating and non communicating hydrocephalus and let's quickly revise again there was a quiz at a camp in a mumbai on hydrocephalus and two groups were invited one group directly communicated with the organizers so reached the camp safely but a other group who did not communicate they had to travel via mahad which is a place in maharashtra means the causes of communicating people who communicated with the organic or, or with the camp organizers they reached directly you know so the one who communicated right and they reached the camp so the causes of communicating hydrocephalus the mnemonic is cam c for choroid plexus papilloma a for achondroplasia m for meningeal malignancy and p for post hemorrhagic i don't want you to cram this line by line but at least i want you to must remember star mark this was the pg question achondroplasia if a patient of achondroplasia lands up into hydrocephalus like will the baby will have non communicating hydrocephalus or communicating hydrocephalus so achondroplasia will always have communicating hydrocephalus means the problem is not in the obstruction in the lateral third and fourth ventricle the problem is there in the subarachnoid space wahan pe problem hai samajh mein aa raha hai also a chondroplasia exactly the uh, yeah peter drinkler of got yes tyrian lannister tyrian lannister a chondroplasia osama aage aajo bro what is the gene mutation what is the gene mutation in a chondroplasia can we have a quick review of that uh, shweta benedict aisha muskan already aisha ne bata diya f g f r 3 f g f r 3 number 1 where do you see tcof1 gene mutation tcof1 gene mutation yes very good tcof1 gene mutation you see in trichocolin syndrome where do you see ptpn11 gene mutation ptpn11 ptpn11 anyone yes ptpn11 gene mutation you see in noonan syndrome exactly very good very good happiness very 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 good and where do you see gabra 1 gabra 1 gene mutation we have done that already gabra 1 yes gabra 1 gene mutation you see in juvenile myoclonic epilepsy and abcc2 abcc2 where do you see abcc2 gene mutation yes abcc2 gene mutation you see in dubin johnson syndrome dubin johnson syndrome and the last question dubin johnson syndrome causes unconjugate hyperbil or conjugated hyperbilirubinemia yes very good very good perfect answer so it causes 
कॉन्जुगेटेड है ना हाँ यार हाँ कॉन्जुगेटेड हाइपर बिलिरोबिनीमिया यू रिमेंबर राइट डुबिन जॉनसन एंड रोटार डुबिन जॉनसन एंड रोटार आर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स कॉज इज कॉन्जुगेटेड हाइपर बिलिरोबिनीमिया the other causes of non communicating the students who did not communicate with the organizers they had to travel a farther route that is via mahar v for vogm you remember in the evening class abhi 11 o'clock i showed i showed you a vogm malformation vein of gallen malformation i showed you it is a midline defect i showed you there will be a brut i'll showed you there will be ultrasonographically you will diagnose it hai na remember that and yes Toxoplasma. These all are exam questions. V O G M will have what type of hydrocephalus non-communicating congenital toxoplasmosis? Remember, right? The triad. Do you remember what is the triad? What is the triad of congenital toxoplasmosis? Osama. Osama will tell you. Osama will tell you. Osama will tell you. Han ji. Tell. Sab gaate hain, sab hi madhosh hai. Yes, tell. Congenital toxoplasmosis triad. Hydrocephalus. And uh, kya tha? Chorioretinitis and intracranial diffuse calcifications. Intracranial diffuse calcifications you see in congenital toxoplasmosis. But what about periventricular calcifications? Periventricular calcifications are seen in cytomegalovirus, whereas diffuse intracranial calcifications are seen in congenital toxoplasmosis. So, equiratal stenosis also star mark, which is the most commonest cause of non-communicating hydrocephalus. The answer is equiratal canal of Sylvieska stenosis. Then the other causes are via Mahard, so marsh lesions. Arnold Chiari malformations, hematoma, abscess, and Dandy Walker malformation. In which one you have the hypoplasia of the cerebellum? Do you see hypoplasia of cerebellum in Arnold Chiari, or do you see in Dandy Walker? What do you think? I, I hope I have taught so like okay types that you must remember that hypoplasia is there in hypoplasia of the cerebellum is there in uh, uh, dandy walker and herniation of the cerebellum is there in arnold gary perfect yeah now let's finish this topic it's a very quick topic finish it clinical features can anyone please help me what are the clinical features i must appreciate in a case of hydrocephalus anyone can i see hydro uh, what would you call it not hydro can i see macro kefali yes very importantly okay can i see a sunset sign very very important known as sunset aankhe aisi hoti hain the eyes are like that that there is sunset sign can i write uh, dilated scalp veins right yes can i write mac evan sign very very important right can i write those points guys is it is it is it so tough to remember is it really getting on the head oh my god it's so tough is it so tough i don't think so <laughs> okay yes so yes the increasing head size sounds a better answer yes can i ha nice one na wide open anterior fontanelle yes i agree with you dilated scalp veins yes i agree with you can i say widely separated suture same thing only no fontanelle are open and suture also like kind of kind of cracking it out widely separated because csf is so much you know and dilated scalp veins and mckevan sign over over setting sun sign over yeah now coming to the end of this topic so what is the investigation of choice who will tell me what is the investigation of choice yaar in a case of hydrocephalus uh -huh, that's right copper beaten cell skull is also right that's true anyone kya the mri i have an option ct scan or mri choose one what do you think what is the investigation of choice pk is saying vp shunt bro vp shunt will be the surgical treatment of choice right if i say surgery of choice then the answer is ventriculo then there is a pipe going to the peritoneal so ventriculo peritoneal shunt okay ct scan or mri what do you think so beautiful oh ho ho maza aa gaya dekh ke so beautiful answers we have mahira saying ct scan PK, CT scan, Pragya, oh ho, amazing, amazing, so beautiful answer. So the best answer is of the, this question is ultrasound. 
no ct scan no ct scan no mri nothing this both are the wrong options the best option is transcranial ultrasound and now you will message sir what is this sir you give two option at least what is this both are wrong yeah both are wrong kya kar loge ab mera mood nahi kiya sahi option dene ka both are wrong so remember will you remember it now transcranial ultrasound CT scan नहीं कराते इट्स वेरी हाई रेजोल्यूशन दैट्स वाई सो नो सिट इज स्कैन नो एम आर आई ओनली ट्रांस क्रेनियल अल्ट्रासाउंड ठीक है एग्जैक्टली प्रज्ञा एंड इवन प्रज्ञा यस प्रज्ञा अच्छा पांचल पांचल इज सेंग मैंने कहा था मैंने बोला था मैंने 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 पहले कहा था मैंने कहा था फिर मूड क्यों बदल लिया तुमने मूड क्यों बदल लिया है मूड क्यों बदला तुमने वही टिके रहते एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली सो या ट्रांस क्रिनियल अल्ट्रासाउंड साउंड अ बेटर वन एंड हैप्पीनेस इज एडिंग वन वेरी ब्यूटीफुल पॉइंट इन सिकल सेल एनीमिया ऑल्सो यू डू रेगुलर ट्रांस क्रेनियल डॉपलर स्टडी सो कैन बी लिंक एंड स्टडी ट्रांस क्रेनियल अल्ट्रासाउंड इज देयर इन आर दिस वन एंड इन द हाइड्रोसिफेलस एंड ट्रांस क्रेनियल डॉपलर स्टडीज बेसिकली इज देयर इन द सिकल सेल एनीमिया एंड वन मोर थिंग कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी ट्रांस क्रेनियल ultrasound where else transcranial ultrasound is the investigation of choice humne kar rakha hai do you remember that osama dear we have done that no can you just quickly tell me two conditions three questions one answer what is the investigation of choice in hydrocephalus the answer is transcranial ultrasound baki do kaun se aur jaldi batao exactly ivh very true the ivs and yes neonatal seizure so yes three questions one answer what is the investigation of choice in a case of neonatal seizure in a case of intraventricular hemorrhage and in a case of hydrocephalus the answer is transcranial ultrasound has everyone understood this much pehle to ye batao samajh mein aaya ya nahi samajh mein aaya dimag ke upar se gaya समझ में आया डू यू वॉन्ट सम चाइनीज लैंग्वेज शुड आई ट्रांसलेट एंड सेंड यू क्रेनियोसाइनोसिस प्री मेच वो तो कहाँ मिलेगा डियर इसमें ना मिलेगा आयशा क्रेनियोसाइनोसिस प्री मेच और फ्यूजन ऑफ सूचर ओके यू विल नॉट सी क्रेनियोसाइनोसिस हेयर यून डाउन सिंड्रोम एंड अदर थिंग्स यू कैन सी दैट एग्जैक्टली यस सो ओसामा कह रहा है सर एवरी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से पहले मेरा हार्ट रेट बढ़ जाता है uh, बढ़ जा रहा है कहीं मैं ना पकड़ा जाऊँ <laughs> तो बेटा गलत जवाब दे के देख तू दे के देख तेरे को ब्लॉक कर दूंगा मोबाइल से ब्लॉक कर दूंगा फिर मैसेज करना सॉरी सर प्लीज अनब्लॉक मी सर आई विल नॉट रिपीट सर प्लीज प्लीज अनब्लॉक मी आनंद सर आई विल नॉट गिव द रॉन्ग आंसर करते रहे ना फिर मैं नहीं करूँगा फिर तेरे को अनब्लॉक perfect and yes everyone knows about it it's a very beautiful picture showing ventriculo peritoneal shunt i'm going to put one pipe in the ventricle and one pipe connecting in the peritoneum behind the ear very importantly this valve go behind the ear and underneath the skin ventriculo peritoneal shunt is the surgical management of choice very beautiful question this is now one another level of question which is the most common cause of meningitis as a complication of vp shunt see naturally ventricular peritoneal shunt because too much of csf is there no you are putting one pipe here and putting the pipe down to drain out the extra csf okay obviously but that as a complication can cause uh, meningitis right we have orophile word who saying sir bmw leke shimla ao अच्छा शिमला यू आर फ्रॉम शिमला व्हाट्स योर नेम आई डोंट नो अभी तो मैं होके आया था पिछले हफ्ते मैं कुफरी से होके आया हूँ हाँ जी या या पांचल यस वेरी गुड सो द सी द पेशेंट ऑफ हाइड्रोसिफेलस नंबर वन आई विल पुट अ वेंट्रिक्यूलर पेरिटोनल शंट नंबर टू ही विल डेवलप मैन एंजाइटीज एज अ कॉम्प्लिकेशन बट विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमनेस कॉज एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली द बेस्ट आंसर इज स्टेफाइलोकोकस एपिडर्मिटिस स्टेफाइलोकोकस एपिडर्मिटिस पी Please type over there the group you are saying, no pediatrics by Doctor Anand. You will get it. Okay, that's what the name is. So, ha, huh, this is a good question. Very beautifully told by Samir. Amazing and Mansi and who else? Yeah, only two. So, epi. This is the exam question, guys. If the paper has to be tough, they will ask you which is the most commonest cause. 
of meningitis as a complication of VP shunt staphylococcus epidermidis. What is the management of raised ICT? Now, this is a good question. VP shunt and all, okay, fine, I will put, okay. But naturally, so much of CSF, will I have raised intracranial tension? For that, what do you want to do? What are the options we have? Yes, very good. Can I say head and elevation? One of okay, before manitol also ABC you should always say ABC, okay. Airway breathing circulation. That is like the first thing you do. Even last week, also me and my HOD they we took interviews for the other residents. So the treatment HOD was expecting kuch bhi ho jai, seizure ka patient hai. Kya karoge? Any patient of seizure, what will you do? Sir, 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 we'll be middle we'll give middle alarm. ABC ni karoge. Will not you'll not do ABC? Also, directly midazolam you'll start uh, you'll not do abc uh, yeah uh, my hod was saying that so uh, like yeah 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 sir airway breathing circulation yeah sir airway breathing circulation are you understanding for anything examiner ask you what is the first thing abc airway breathing circulation okay nowadays even you know that right nowadays they said tabc t abc t is temperature then airway then breathing and circulation right then of course head and elevation then controlled hyperventilation also very true mansi very good and manitol everyone knows about it manitol is usually always used in the treatment for raised ict and it's like a osmotic diuretic only which basically relieves my tension and of course it decreases the viscosity in the brain also so head and elevation controlled hyperventilation and manitol sounds very good and that's it and uh, hypertonic saline three person nscl also three person ns hyper Tonic slime, yes, very good. Samir, very good. PK, Mansi, Nishtha, Shweta, very good. And sedatives. Can you name some sedatives which are used in a pay case because patient is having full agitated and raised ICT? Name at least one sedative, Osama. Can I use, should I use uh, benzodiazepine or should I use barbiturates? What do you think? Yes, very good. So, barbiturate sounds a good answer. And second line. What are the second line? Huh, this is a very good question. Second line. This is a good one. Okay. Tell me now. Uh, Osama, mene, I gave benzodiazepines. I gave barbiturates. I gave mannitol, 3% NS, uh, ABC, head and elevation. Every single thing I did, bro. Raise ICT is not uh, getting, you know, resolved. What do you want to do? Happiness. What do you think, dear? Rinku, uh, Rinku, okay, Dais, Anubhav, Akumar, so beautiful people we have. Yes, Mansi, 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 Mansi is right, and even Nishtha is also right. Fair to Bhaiya Karna Padega, brain ka operation, craniectomy, take a surgical removal of that part, basically the, the cranium. So, decompressive craniectomy sounds very hi fi that we do, and even induced coma. The patient is having seizure, no? The patient, having, the patient is fully going crazy, right? So decompressive craniectomy and induced coma sounds a very important ones, okay? And induced hypothermia also. One very important question, where else do you do induced hypothermia? Very simple, very simple. Osama, therapeutic hypothermia, therapeutic hypothermia is the management of which condition? Therapeutic hypothermia is the management of which condition very simple question i intentionally keep the newborn hypothermic and i and anyone to prevent the apoptosis to prevent the programmed cell death i intentionally intentionally keep the baby little hypothermic in some bimari yes priya very good priya very good so priya has told the right answer very good priya so in a case of hie the baby did not cry immediately after birth i will do therapeutic hypothermia means in hie there is there is apoptosis okay programmed cell death to prevent the pro <coughs> programmed cell death <coughs> we do therapeutic hypothermia this part is over what is this one last question then this class is over ye kya hai this is a very beautiful kya hai jadu jadu and what is the picture who will tell me what is the picture yes kya ye jadu hai aaj dharti se pavan ka phoolon se gagan ka ghataon se pavan ka ho raha milan jadu jadu hai ye jadu hai ye Jadu nahi hai ye bhaiya, this is hydranencephalic. Do you remember I told you, yes or no? Did I told you that that full CSF, 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 like a water, 
like just like a water this is hydranencephaly like a water remember that okay and also we uh, can i read this cerebral hemispheres are absent and the remaining cranial cavity is filled with csf so this is nothing but full csf hydranencephaly remember this one okay what is this this is hydrocephalus one segment one pouch is accumulated with csf but i can very well see the cerebral hemispheres and the other thing also they are not deficient or hypoplastic but in hydranencephaly it's just water and cerebral hemisphere are absent and we have this mcq now could you please answer please read the question and give me your best answer what do you think then this class is over no happiness zone uh like uh, no, no no i'm not saying no happiness zone the happiness zone is the id i'm replying her no happiness zone that uh they are not compatible with life actually hydrogen and maybe may, may expire okay yeah. <laughs> yeah that's such a cute question happiness is asking without baby without brain baby will survive oh so cute question very cute no baby will not survive how will the baby will survive without brains do you work without brains then you will answer ha huh, sometimes i work without brain and i survive that because you are unique you are special that baby is not okay that baby is not did you understand yes or no and what is your name dr happiness uh konbol a mm hmm osama ne kya answer kiya sushmita anubhav panchal panchal says d okay the best answer is option number c following features differentiate hydranencephaly from hydrocephalus if i say hydranencephaly is static while hydrocephalus continue to increase is this line true or is this line false hydranencephaly static hota hai kya it is not static na hydranencephaly water 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 there is no static the that also increase properly okay so this is a false statement both increase in size hydrocephalus also and hydranencephaly also number 1 number 2 hydranencephaly does not increase in the head size it is a false statement na dear can you see yourself this one itna bada sar hai matlab kahan se lag raha hai ki bada nahi hua theek hai next cerebral cortex is deficient or hypoplastic in hydranencephaly yeah now that sounds that's definitely makes some sense so haji aage aa jao mar khane wale aage aa jaye please panchal idhar aa jao panchal ne likha d tu idhar aa ja haji d kyu likha d kyu likha idhar aa jao panchal d kis liye likha nahi galti se likh diya nahi mere mobile mein auto correct ho gaya tha uh, mere ekdum se type ho gaya pata nahi chala hai kya drama hai what is your answer what is your answer mm be careful next time okay yes that's true perfect 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 that finishes today's class okay can you please answer jipmer 2017 question so this to everyone can answer right exactly ha usko aur jo sahi batayega usko kya milega usko milega bahut sara pyar aur ek badi si chocolate theek hai chahiye aapko Hmm. So yes, a baby born with fused eyes, single nasal chamber, and underdeveloped corpus callosum. Holoprosencephaly is the best answer. Next, what is the most commonest cause of ventricular megaly in a newborn? We have done this. Which is the most commonest cause of ventricular megaly? Karishma Devendra. We have seventy hundred students. My goodness, at this time, रात के साढ़े बारह बजे क्या करने आए हो? क्या इधर आओ? Why you have come? कोई और काम नहीं है गो वॉच नेटफ्लिक्स गो हैव यू सीन दैट ये काली काली आंखें इट्स नाइस सीरियल ये काली काली आंखें इज अ गुड वन ओके द बेस्ट आंसर गायत्री द बेस्ट आंसर इज एक्विरेटल सिनोसिस नो द मोस्ट कॉमनेस्ट कॉज ऑफ वेंट्रिकुलो मिगेली इज एक्विरेटल कैनाल ऑफ सिल्वियस स्टिनोसिस दैट इज यू नो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ कॉज ऑफ कम्युनिकेटिंग हाइड्रोकेफेलस नाउ दिस इज अ गुड वन दिस इज एक्चुअली अ गुड वन वॉट डू यू थिंक <laughs> देवेंद्र कह रहा है पढ़ने आए हैं ठीक आज कॉफी पियोगे शुड आई मेक कॉफी फॉर यू लाइक फिल्टर कॉफी वॉट कोल्ड कॉफी कोल्ड कॉफी चलेगी सर वो अच्छा चलेगी आओ जाओ आओ और जाओ बना के आओ मेरली बना देना एक हाँ जी हाँ जी ठीक <laughs> है ओरोफाइल व्हाट इज योर नेम ओके हैप्पीनेस जोन व्हाट इज योर नेम ऑल न्यू पीपल वी हैव इट ओवर हेयर 
हाँ दैट्स ट्रू थैंक गॉड एवरी वन इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल आंसरिंग वेन ऑफ गैल एंड माल फॉर्मेशन इज अ कॉज ऑफ नॉन कम्युनिकेटिंग हाइड्रोकेफेलस ए कॉन्ट्रोप्लेज या कोरोड प्लेक्सिस पेपिलोमा दे ऑल आर द कॉज ऑफ कम्युनिकेटिंग हाइड्रोकेफेलस परफेक्ट नेक्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस ऑफ हाइड्रोसिफेलस इन एन इन्फेंट इज वॉट यू थिंक आईज गिव द बेस्ट आंसर एग्जैक्टली वेरी ट्रू चाय लवर ओके ठीक है चाय मैं अभी बनाया था चाय चीनी चीनी थोड़ी डाल चीनी पियो चीनी लेते हैं चीनी हाँ ओके हाँ ओके या सो क्या था इसका हाँ ऑब्वियसली ट्रांस ट्रेनियल अल्ट्रासाउंड दैट्स राइट ओके नेक्स्ट दिस आल्सो सेम क्वेश्चन द मोस्ट कॉमन फीटल वेंट्रिकुलो मिगेली ऑफ कोर्स अगेन इज एक्टल कैनाल ऑफ सिल्वियस स्टिनोसिस दिस ऑल्सो राइट ओके 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 वन सेकेंड क्या दिस इज अ गुड वन If you answer this one, अच्छा ओहो ओहो बुशरा बुशरा says cold coffee, cute. Go make it and give me also cold coffee. हाँ <laughs> जी what is the answer for this one? Wait, let me think. Arnold Chiari malformation is characterized by all except. I know this one. It's so easy. ओहो can you please tell me, sir? Please don't ask easy questions. Please. हम्म uh, आह anyone anyone yeah. या नो डू यू सी हाइपोप्लेजिया ऑफ द सेरीबेलर वर्मिस नो कैन यू सी हर्नियशन यस इज देर अ फ्लैट बेस ऑफ स्कल यस एडल्टुड वाला इज नॉट एसोसिएटेड विद हाइड्रोसिफेलस यस नो वाई बिकॉज एडल्टुड वाला एंड एडोलसेंट वाला इज एसोसिएटेड विद सेरिंगो माइलिया आई टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी राइट यस 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 टाइप वन इज एसोसिएटेड सरेंगो माइलिया नो सो दस द राइट आंसर ओके अच्छा इसमें एक और भी था अच्छा सारा हो गया ना ये हम्म ये हो गया अच्छा दिस इज अ गुड वन टेल मी दिस वन वेट अबाउट डेंडीशन ट्रू इज ओके लेट मी थिंक डेंडी वॉक ओके या 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 आई नो दिस वन डू यू नो दिस वन आई नो दिस वन डू यू नो दिस वन गाइस अनुभव वैदेही ओसामा ओह देवेंद्र कह रहे हैं एक ए को लॉक कर दो ए को लॉक नहीं करना चाहिए देवेंद्र तुमको लॉक करना चाहिए मुझे लगता है क्यों बिकॉज डेंडी वॉकर सिंड्रोम व्हाट इज ट्रू कैन इट लीड टू हाइड्रोसिफेलस यस एटी परसेंट केसेज इट कैन लीड टू हाइड्रोसिफेलस एज देर इज सेरी बेलर हाइपोप्लेजिया देर इज ऑल्सो कनेक्शन विद दी सी एस एफ पाथवे प्रॉब्लम लीडिंग टू द सिस्टिक एक्सपेंशन ऑफ दी फोर्थ वेंडिकल दैट्स ट्रू Will it cause cerebellar hypoplasia? Yes, no. Yes, and all are true. Yes. So the best answer is yes, 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 yes. So, who should lock it? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Next question. Very easy. Congenital hydrocephalus. The treatment of choice is ventricular peritoneal shunt. <laughs> yes, you have only answered it. Yes. Okay. Done. That finishes today's class. Tomorrow we'll talk about torch infection. has everyone understood this much put a last like to this video and the comment section did you understand yes or no thank you so much for coming uh, 100 students in this class it's crazy it's amazing thank you so much and before leaving we always have a motivating quote and today's motivating quote is you did not come this far to only come this far you did not come this far to only come this far i know the journey is tough i know the journey is crazy i know it's very difficult and all that but you did not come this far to only come this far so thoda sa hi reh gaya and you know if you do this one properly then you might get a rank and if you get a rank your whole life will change whole life 
you will be a jr1 somewhere else and you will be some another city another level of life and new people and you will be like hey, i got all india rank 7 i i got neat uh, to, to, top 50 rank i got rank 6 actually rank 1 i got rank 1 it was easy rank 1 mm -hmm. so you can say that right so it was it, i hope you 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 will achieve your dreams and that's the most beautiful part of ourselves we are capable of anything and everything just tell yourself you know once you believe once you believe that you deserve this you are halfway there that's what you did not come this far to only come this far okay remember that that's very important okay remember so anubhav says it was my first class it was awesome thank you sir thank you so much aisha yes dear <laughs> yes 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 happiness says even if PG may bohut acha rank nahi aaya, will work very hard in, to in practice and read daily to be a better clinician. Kitna acha hai, nice, very beautifully you have told. Happiness says, even if PG may bohut acha rank nahi aaya, will work very hard in practice and read daily to be a better uh, clinician. Yes, exactly. So that's just beautiful. So zindagi bhagwan ki ek bohut mehengi gift hai. Usko waste mat karo. Who is successful? The successful is the one who is happy alone, I guess. Successful is the one who loves his daily routine, who enjoys his daily routine. That person is successful. Don't wait for the right time to come in your life. Ek bar ye ho jai, tab main successful ho jaunga. Wo aisa din kabhi nahi aane wala. Because once you finish one target, then you have another target. You, we say, hey, once I finish my MBBS, then I will be happy. You finish MBBS, you are stuck with the PG. Then you say, once once I get a PG seat, no, I swear to God, I'll be very happy. You get a PG seat, whole three years gone. If you get a PG seat in a very busy hospital, then to be, you're dead. Another level of torture and drama. But what to do? This is life. It's important. Once you get a PG is over, once I get married, then I will be happy. Then I'll be very happy. And once you get married, oh my God, then to you have to talk to a psychiatrist no doubt about it so in short in short life is small and the morale of the story is that keep enjoying keep breathing but also keep enjoying breathing also it's a it's a good feeling to enjoy you yourself breathing right so remember be happy okay thank you so much everyone life is the most beautiful gift which you can give to yourself so make the most of it and remember who is successful Successful is the one who is happy alone. Successful is the one who is who enjoys one owns company. And successful is the one who enjoys the daily routine. Who actually loves his daily routine. That person is successful. If you don't love your daily routine, I'm sorry to say, you are not successful. You must love. Find love. Make love. Do whatever you want to do it. But be happy. Because if you're happy doing what you do, then you are successful. Thank you so much everyone for this beautiful participation. I hope you will have a great time and sleep well. Tomorrow we have a quiz and if you guys are free, please come to the quiz tomorrow. Uh, multiple quiz we have, we have tomorrow. The first prize is rupees 500 and uh, if you guys are free, please come tomorrow to the Unacademy classes. Already the links, everything is there in the Unacademy platform. Uh, open Unacademy, uh, type Dr. Anand Bhatia, only Anand Bhatia and then my name will come. The classes are there. Tomorrow we have a test back to back. 500 rupees is the first price. If you are free, come. If you don't free, um, then also try to come. Okay? <laughs> Chalo. Bye bye. Take care. Time. Time tomorrow we have classes. I'll tell you if you want to know. One second. One second. The timings for tomorrow class. Just give me one second. I have written it somewhere. So tomorrow we have multiple classes. Tomorrow phone si tariq hai. Kal hai. Ab tis ho gaya na? Exactly. Yeah. Tomorrow 2.30 p.m. we have a class. 2.30 p.m. we have a quiz. First prize is rupees 500. Milestones part 1. Then again a grand test at 5.15. So at least tomorrow 2.30 you come. Okay. Tomorrow 2.30 p.m. An academy class. Come. And then I will tell you when is the next class. Okay. So thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care. See you. Bye. Good night.